First time, no. Apparently, someone took advantage of the situation. While the plane headed for the Pentagon was quickly approaching from the west, an unknown source, which was never identified, reported that American 11 was headed towards the capital even though the plane had already crashed into the North Tower. I just had a report that American 11 is still in the air and it's heading towards Washington. Okay, American 11 is still in the air? This attracted all the attention towards the so-called phantom plane. He's still airborne, he's still a hijack out there, but we can't get a position on him. The jets from Langley were prepared to intercept it. I don't know if they might want to alert some aircraft down there, though, too. We have Langley on battle stations right now. Okay. Then they were scrambled straight for Washington. Foxy, scramble Langley, head towards the Washington area. Roger that. But a different command post, called Giant Killer, sent the fighters out to the ocean. Say again where you want him. Uh, we want him in the Whiskey 386 area. This didn't sit well with the operations center. Freaking giant killer and their wisdom sent him out over the water when we scrambled him to Washington. By the time the plane headed for the Pentagon was circling the Capitol, it was too late for the Langley jets to intercept it. Even after the Pentagon was hit, the war games were not suspended. And again, while United 93 was being hijacked, another false alarm attracted the attention in the opposite direction. Uh, did you get the word? I got a Delta 8-9er, south-southeast of Toledo. Delta 8-9, that's a hijack. They think it's possible hijack. Fuck, south of Cleveland, we have a code on him now. Good, pick it up, find it. Fuck, another one. Major Nazipani turned to Toledo Air Force Base. I'm sorry to be so uh, brief and quick on this, but uh, there's another possible hijack about 50 miles east of Toledo, and you, you guys are the closest, and we need it. Somebody airborne. But instead of getting help, his authority was questioned. What authority is this coming from? Uh, what a, sir, what authority is this coming from? Uh, yeah. uh, the DO is the best I can tell you. Nazipani vented his frustration to his superior, Colonel Marr. He's going to tell his commander, the commander's going to call you because he doesn't believe the authority. Then they tried Duluth Air Force Base. What about yeah. Duluth? Okay. Duluth, you got no fighters. Nazipani went all the way to the Western Quadrant looking for help. This is Major Cheney. Who is this? Hey, Cheney. This is Nasty. How you doing? Hey, doing all right. Hey, we're not doing so good right now. Uh, what I'd like to do, uh, possibly steal some aircraft out of Fargo from you guys. But here, too, there were no planes ready for scramble. They tried Syracuse, but 20 minutes was the best they could do. Syracuse, two airborne in 20 minutes. They tried Alpina, but the planes were just returning from their training. The Alpina thing isn't what we thought. There's four guys coming home from the range right now. They started looking for planes that were already up in the air for exercises. So, anybody in training, send them home. He's moving the missions of Falcon, send them home. But those planes were spent at that point. We got no weapons. Here. They just went on a straight run up, up to the range. They blew all the road. By the time refueled and armed jets were finally scrambled, the Delta flight turned out to be another false alarm. He was a hijacked aircraft. He is not a hijacked aircraft. He's taking precautionary measures and he's landing at Cleveland Center. Only after the Delta flight had landed were the war games finally suspended. So this is our Captain Paris on China. Yes. Uh, what we need you to do right now is to terminate all exercise inputs coming into China Mountain. By then, also the fourth hijacked airplane had been turned into a pile of smoking rubble. <laughs>